right, so Fiddler's Green by Tragically Hit. This is from their album Road Apples back in 1991. And uh, this is just a really uh, beautiful song. Very poignant song, very poignant lyric by Gord Downey. And they actually recorded this uh, in 91, but they never played it live for 15 years. Just because it was so heavy, you know, a very heavy subject. And if you click that I there or the link below in the description box um, and go to my website. I always do a little write-up on these songs. And I'll do a little write-up on how this song came about. Let's get into it. It's in open E tuning. Put the tuning down there again. And it's really a simple song. There's three chords, but there's a bunch of licks in between. And on the record, they do a bunch of slide stuff. Um, there's a couple of electric guitar things, but for this lesson, I'm just doing the acoustic part. There's two acoustic parts. One's just strictly strumming, and then one has all the licks in it. Okay, so we're going to start like this. We're just on the fifth fret of the G string, and we're going to play the first four strings. And then we're going to go down two frets to G3 and upstroke that. Right, then we do the exact same move with the right hand, but only we're here. And we slide that down and upstroke on the, the open D. So it's like... Okay, again. Right, and then we start the strumming. And the basic strumming pattern is kind of like this. That's sort of the the bedrock of it. And then there's all these little nuances that I'll try and go over. Okay, so from the beginning. Just a hammer on, A open to A2, open D. And that's that happens a lot, variations of that. What I do here, this next lick, is I go... Okay, that's not on the record. Um, <laughs> it's a little more simple on the record. He's just kind of going... Right? Um, but I think what you'll find is, um, with a song like this, you're just going to do your own thing, you know? You're going to use the basic foundation of what's on the record and just play around it you know improvise a little bit and i'm sure when they recorded this um because when you watch them live it's always different you know every take is a little bit different so keep that in mind when you're learning this you know learn the foundation and then just improvise okay so So what I'm doing there is I'm just I'm hammering on to the fourth or the fifth fret of the G from the third, and I'm playing both those open strings B and E. I really like the sound of that. And then this again, right? But only we're going to end up on this chord, which is A2 and G1, and we don't want to play that low E. So I'm going to move my third finger into mute. That. So that again, a little hammer on, right? And then it's going to go. Okay, so it's just we're holding that chord, and we're actually going to lift it up and just go the last three strings. slide again on the fourth string, the D string. Then, okay, it's our next chord, which is exactly like a C chord, except, ha you know, instead of having your first finger there on B1, we're on G1. So, then we do this lick. And then we end it up by going... Okay. Sounds like a lot, but it isn't. Um, let's do it from the beginning a little bit slower.
just threw in a harmonic there. If you watch the live versions, he'll either go... And you just harmonic that note or go... Right? It, it kind of... You just sort of do what you want, right? And then the singing starts, and it's identical so uh, as the beginning. One is it's really pronounced that one right okay and then we're going to come into a new chord okay so what I hear there is this fourth fret of the D second fret and then a pull off That chord is going to be um, the four inside strings, A string, D string, D string, B string, and we're going to mute that low E with our thumb, and what I do is I mute that high E with kind of this part of my, my fretting hand. Okay, so I've got dead, dead. So. Two to open, and then open G, and back to this chord, right? And what I find, it, I find it really useful here to do upstrokes on those, right? So. Now we're gonna go. Another really great lick, so strong. You know, in the open tuning, these licks are really powerful. And I upstroke again. So, just while holding that chord, right? And the last one, well, obviously, we take that chord off and we're open, right? So you can. You could upstroke that last one or downstroke it. that again, right? That again. And I do that. I slide in there. Then. another verse which is pretty well identical right and then we get into the middle bit which is really just strumming from this chord to this chord right? that's the um, D2 and G3 Remember the, the middle strings you on the outside so it's just And the beautiful part about open tuning is when you transition chords, you can bounce off the open, right? So instead of trying to be really super tight and go... You know, which you can do, right? Um, you can bounce off the open, so you can go... A slow bounce, or you could do it quicker. You know, so you never fall out, you never get dead spots or clumsy changes because you can bounce off the open. Okay, and that ends on this chord, and then back to the open.
last verse. And that, instead of going, you're going, right? Just a little, you know, um, option there. And that just repeats. embellish or just jam on that you know, do whatever you want and then ending with That's it. Um, and that's the main guitar. That's the guitar part you want to play if you're playing this by yourself. But if you're lucky enough to have another guy around, or maybe you're just not adept at picking out single notes like that, you can just strum the chords and it'll sound fantastic, right? Maybe you could just, you know, um, maybe you could get that part and then just strum it from there on in, right? So. Of course, you know, these chords and open tunings just sound so full and awesome. And that chord, I don't know if I mentioned, but you don't want to play the low E there. So again, you want to mute that. And you can, you can play that high E if you wanted. I kind of mute that, I think, mostly when I play it. Okay. And that's what the second guitar part is. It's just strumming the chords, right? And, you know, a song like this, it's all feel. Um, you know, you kind of get in the groove, get in the little, like, universe of this song, and just feel your way through it, right? All right, so that's it for this one. Beautiful song. Rob Baker is a really good guitar player. He's really good with these open tunings, and... Uh, he always gets his parts sounding like really nice. So I hope you get something out of this. I hope you enjoy playing it. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.